The Apple iPad, awesome tool, incredible toy, but it's nothing until you load it up with apps. Hi, I'm Rokaz, your digital lifestyle expert here, and I'm gonna show you some tips on how to use the App Store on your iPad. The materials you'll need to get started will be an iPad, your finger or an iPad stylist, and an internet connection. All right, we get started by launching the application. All we have to do is hit the App Store icon right here, which comes preloaded with the unit and brings us directly to the App Store. A good tip is to become familiar with the different types of apps available, and that's a lot of fun to do. Here in the spotlight, we can see here uh, some of the different ones. There's Frogger, it looks like, a Mythbusters app, a iYardbird. There's Classic Pac-Man in the games. You can also go down here to go to uh, you know, the top of the charts, see what other people are buying. And of course, here on this unit, your top one, two, and three are your productivity ones, your pages, your keynote, and your numbers. Okay. And because we already have those installed, you can see it's marked so you don't accidentally buy them again, and that's kind of a neat thing. Another thing is to fill up your library with free applications. Now, you can see here $2.99, $3.99, but if you hunt, you can even see them done by free apps. Now, here's a good example right here, BBC World News. All right, free app, boop, pop it over here. We're going to see about the application there, and if I hit the free button one more time, it's going to ask me to install the app. Boom. And there it is, right there, getting ready to, uh, to install into it. So, you know, filling it up with a lot of free apps is a good thing. We're going to go back over here, back to the App Store. We can do that while it's still loading. And another great tip for dealing with the App Store is making sure that your account is up to date. If you scroll all the way down here, you can see the account information right here. So that way you can use a prepaid credit card to limit the amount of money you or your kids spend so it's just that easy. Games, utilities, tools, productivity, it just doesn't stop. But be careful, you hit download enough and it can be a real stressor on your bank account. Believe me, I know.